I also want to laugh at the fact that Jared's like, you know, we're, you're learning basic stuff like BGP and ISIS. I'm like, <laughs> really? Like I was learning about the OSI model. Like basic to me was a different conversation, but I'm really fascinated in just how you had, you came to this starting with computer science and programming versus me, which was like learning CLIs and also having to learn all the stuff that's now dead, like EIA, EIGRP and um, frame relay and stuff like that. Oh my God, they're my two darlings. I love, <laughs> I love those two technologies. Um, Jared, correct me if I'm wrong, but something I'm hearing in multiple places over the past year or two is there's not that much networking covered in computer science curriculum. Is that accurate? Yeah, no, there's really not. At least, uh, yeah. at least at my university, there wasn't. Um, you know, like uh, in in our curriculum, it was Python first. Those were our first two classes. You get pretty proficient with it. Then you do a little bit of Java kind of web development. So you learn about, you know, um, you learn about CI, CD, uh, you know, uh, with, you know, with web developer tools. Um, so I use like Eclipse, uh, you know, obviously I use VS code. That's, that's every, it's every programmer's favorite, uh, you know, IDE. Um, and I, you know, I would say like genuinely, I, I really didn't learn anything about networking until I went to the front, like until I started working on a front end project with one of my professors, my senior year. And, at that point, the only thing that I had seen was how to kind of deal with the server. Uh, so yeah. it wasn't even like real networking. It wasn't really understanding. It was just, uh, it was just how do I communicate with this with this server? And that's still not even, you know, on on the networking layer, right? So I wasn't doing any protocol work. 